Hi, and welcome back to the Uncensored Journey podcast, where we say whatever the fuck we want because it's our journey, like it or not. I am Cindy, and with me as always is Gabriella. Hi, Gabriella. Hi, Cindy. Um, hi. Um, today we are doing a book report, or at least reviewing a book that we both read, I hope. Um, it's The Divided Mind. It's The Epidemic of Mind-Body Disorders by John E. Sarno, um, Dr. John E. Sarno. Um, it was, I thought it was an interesting book, and um, we're going to discuss it. So what you got, Gabriella? How'd you like the book? Oh my God, it's my favorite book and it's the end of the year and I've read many books this year. Um, yeah, I am definitely, uh, I feel like a schoolgirl for, for this doctor, even though he's a hundred years old. And I think actually he's no longer in this plane of existence, but his book is like amazing. Um, basically the premise is that 99% of disease happens on the psyche and at the emotional level. And that because the body doesn't know how to, well, your subconscious mind doesn't know how to process it. Uh, it chooses physical symptoms in order to protect you from being overwhelmed with um, the trauma, the uh, negative emotions, whatever the case may be, that it thinks that you'll have an overreaction and, you know, self implode. <laughs> and um, I think I think it's fascinating, uh, the amount of, you know, research and case studies that are in this book. And, you know, I've, I've shared it with as many people as I could. Um, one of the, the case studies that John Sterno, Sarno um, used and he became very popular was with healing back pain and helping people to heal their back. And yeah, we could talk more about it because I could, I could talk for the, the rest of the podcast all by myself, how, <laughs> how amazing this book is. But what'd you get out of it? What what uh, stood out to you? Well, I think it's, it was, to me, it was, I, I just, full disclosure, I don't do Western medicine at all. And I'm very much of the mind of Eastern medicine, holistic medicine, using food and the earth to heal yourself and mind as well. But, um, you know, I really appreciate it. I, I didn't realize it was written so long ago or his techniques were developed so long ago that, um, it, you know, really challenged like conventional medical like wisdom and knowledge like the western medicine um and he also took like it really took like this deep dive of um like the transformative power of your mind and how our minds have are so strong and it can um it could do anything like you know, mind over matter kind of a thing um and it's also like being able to heal so many physical ailments with just changing your mindset or changing the way you think about something or just changing the way, um, changing your thought process behind what X, Y, and Z, or even like digging into past trauma, um, repressed emotions and like seeking the expression to try to figure out how to then heal what's going on within your body. Um, you know, I, I, I hate to keep harping on my weight, but I'm on this weight loss journey still. I, I've been for the whole, whole life, but let me, you know, let I, me correct you there. Fat loss journey, not weight loss journey. Okay. You're right. Fat loss <laughs> journey. Um, and, um, it's, uh, to me, like I I've read it. I read a, another book where it was like, um, uh, like visualization, like weight loss through, or like fat loss through visualization, fat loss through visual visualization. And, um, I really bought into that concept and, um, they, in that other book, they talk about, um, your body holds on to weight, like trauma based, like trauma will make your body hold on to weight. And, um, so, you know, trying to discover those things, like with that in mind and trying to discover where the trauma could have come from and like what, how, how I can figure out what, like to, narrow it down to one thing and figure it out. Um, 
you know, Dr. Sarno, he really, um, he really connected that kind of connected the pieces to me. I'm not saying I have all the answers still, but, um, just that the mind and the body are so, so connected. It's so, in, so they're so connected that all the psychological factors that play such a pivotal role in our physical ailments. And, um, you know, like in a previous podcast, I talked about my back injury, but I think part of the reason it healed so fast was because I didn't harp on it. I wasn't like, oh, my back hurts. I can't do this. Oh, my back hurts. Can't do this. I'm like, oh crap, my back hurts. Let me figure out how to do this. My, you know, like, and, and not harping on the fact that I can't, but like, let's figure out ways to go around it. I think the mindset really helped the healing. Now I got to figure out, I got to crack that code for my fat loss situation, but, um, you know, I'm getting there and, you know, his, there was a lot of, for me, there was a lot of like hope and a lot of, um, a lot of, uh, like knowledge I got from his case studies. Cause there was a lot of case studies throughout the book. And also there was, um, case studies of other doctors who do his techniques and follow his approach. And also like back into the history of where he kind of got his, um, uh, his, uh, experience, not experience. What is the word I'm looking for? Um, but he, he took examples from like Freud and some like older psychology people, even though he's an MD, some older psychology, um, practicer pr practitioners and took that and like married it with his, um, medical knowledge. And so, um, I thought that was really interesting. And, um, you know, like I had, I had mentioned too about stuff like getting to the root cause of why you're in this pain, like what's happening, like, what are you holding on to? There's, you know, there's, there's that people we say, like, get it off your chest and like, you'll feel lighter. And I think that's just, it's kind of along the same lines, just at a smaller level, but, um, I really like this book and you actually suggested this book to me. And so I appreciate that because I bought it right away and I read it and, um, it was, it was really great. So, um, anyway, sorry, long-winded, but there you go. <laughs> what, um, what would you recommend to people that haven't read it and they are struggling with, uh, reducing inflammation or getting to the root cause of, you know, a chronic, uh, disease? Oh gosh. I, I don't, I'm not really sure, you know, it's, I, um, uh, what I would recommend would be reading this with reading this book and, um, my two of my best friends, uh, every year for Christmas, um, I give them, um, two or three books that I've read throughout the year that changed my life or that I love this year, they're getting <laughs> a divided mind. So, um, I hope this doesn't air before the holidays, but, um, long story short is, uh, I, um, I would, I would recommend the book. I would give it to them I, or I would buy the book for them, whatever. Um, but also um, to try to find um, like the root causes of things, I guess my first suggestion would be just to be really honest with yourself um, and try in like trying to pinpoint things. I know sometimes we go about our lives and um, things just keep happening and it piles up and you're like, oh, it's life. But really like it could be the key to like, what's making your back hurt or what's keeping your knee inflamed or, you know, or what's keeping your gut like unhealthy or whatever, whatever, whatever. And, um, it's, uh, just trying to continuing to try to like unlock that healing potential your body has through your mind. It's, I don't know. It's just, it's, a. Uh, there's just so many, there's so many aspects to this. We could probably talk about this book for like the next four hours, but, um, how about you? What would you suggest to, to folks? Yeah. Similar to what you, what you just shared. Um, and also, um, just really like, yeah, doing their research a little bit, you know, like they say that you can't cure, um, like there's things that you can't cure. Like, let's say you have like a, a chronic liver disease or whatever, you know, the, the, the liver regenerates after, I don't know, two months, it fully regenerates 
And so having the mindset that one, your body is constantly healing. And if you create the right environment for it, it's going to work with you, not against you. And just having that mindset that anything is possible, right? Um, my, my mentor and the person that I've been working with over the last year, Dr. Matt James, he's the one that actually introduced me to the divided mind. And, you know, he's, he's a avid supporter of John Sarno and like the cases that he's helped his clients, you know, transform, heal and shed are just absolutely incredible. You know, like the back, you know, once someone has a back injury and you were talking about your case, that's how it usually is. And then you have folks that, and my mom and me, even myself, like I used to have back pain. And I gave this book to my mother and she's been having back pain for like decades. That's not physically possible. It's a mindset thing. And it was, it, it, had, it had nothing to do with her back not, not being healed, but with the fact that, you know, a Western doctor said, oh, like you need surgery or you're not gonna heal. This is gonna take years to heal or whatever. And just for the people that are hearing about this book for the first time, it would really be beneficial to like really do the research and really understand the anatomy of the, the physical body and then map it uh, across your mindset. You know, like mindset is so powerful. Like you said, we are our body, our mind, our emotions are very powerful. And if we use them and we, we understand them, then we could work with them and we could have incredible results. So I agree. And I, I feel kind of silly um, because I have been manifesting and like studying manifesting for like years and years and years and like manifesting things or manifesting like um outcomes or whatever the case may be but I've never thought about manifest like this is essentially like using your brain to manifest an outcome to heal your body and um that didn't dawn on me until as I go like, oh, I this book kind of put that together for me as well so something that I already believe wholeheartedly in something that I've I actively practice I can use now in a different part of my life which was really kind of cool and um you know I also think um part of this you, we were talking about your mom's back pain and your back pain and um I think well you know and I have experience with that too but also um we're told like western medicine tells you like you hurt your back rest like and do this don't don't keep going but in reality like what you need is to just is to keep it moving and keep it going and like keep it um loose and like and and mm -hmm. keep moving it so that it has a thing and I think that's also like fucks with your head too is you're like well the doctor is saying to rest but it right. feels better if I get up and take a walk but the doctor's saying I should rest so you know, there's these like and it, it and it like kind of makes this disconnect in your brain about what you're actually feeling and what you're being told. And um, I think that's this book, like puts some of those myths, like debunks some of those myths, but also um, makes me, well, made me realize that um, like my brain isn't like what other people, what other outside influences are saying, isn't necessarily what's right for me and in, in my body. And, um, I, I think that your the back pain with your mom was a good example of how the Western medicine was saying, you know, it take, it's going to take years to recover. It's going to do this. It's going to do that. And, um, in reality, like for, for like personally, for specifically me, you know, I pulled my back deadlifting because I got out of form and it was my fault. Like I did it. And, um, I, you know, sweaty hands, no chalk. And that was a recipe for a disaster, but, um, it was, it was really, really bad for a, a, and I 
kept moving and um I didn't listen to the rest. I didn't listen to the ice. I didn't listen to the insert this here. And I was just like, you know what? I, I, I like convinced myself that keep moving would make it better faster. And I'm not going to lie and say that it was better in like a couple of days, but it slowly started to get better. And within a month, it was just like, I was back to deadlifting. And I'm, it, I mean, it was lighter deadlifts than I was used to, but it was still deadlifting. So now I can build myself back up. So, um, I, you know, I, I, I convinced myself that that's what it was going to do. So, um, that was before I read this book. So now reading this book, I'm like, oh, it's true. It's true. So, um, I think that the biggest key takeaway for me was, um, realizing that I have the power to unlock my healing potential. Like it, it's, it's me and I don't really, I don't need doctors. I don't need MDs. I don't need x-rays. I don't need whatever. And, um, like the chronic pain could, um, I, I have, I have the ability to get rid of chronic pain. Yes. Yes. I second that. That is, uh, I love it. I love it so much because it's so true. Um, yeah, I've, I've had a similar conversation, um, yeah, recently with someone and, it's like, yeah, I don't need Western doctors and Western studies to tell me what I should be eating. I have like an um, unmeasurable amount of wisdom of what my body needs and I get to listen to it. And I know that I'm all healing and that I have the power to heal. I have the power to, to create what I want in my life. And that is a very, I don't know, it's just really good to realize it again and again and be reminded. And I think this book um, really put it into perspective and just brought more empowerment to me uh, as an individual and also as a coach to have the congruence to know that, hey, uh, you have cancer, 90, 95%. 99% of the time, cancer is a direct result of repressed emotions. It's it's a direct result. And poor of diet. Un- well, it starts in the mind. I believe that it yeah. starts in the mind. I, and, I do too. And um, also a direct result of anger, unprocessed anger, and just resentment. And so, yeah, it's a by me being congruent, uh, knowing that my clients could heal, I get to stand for that. And it also supports my clients into um, having the confidence to know that they can to create change and have the power to let go of the all those negative emotions and to heal. And of course, diet is super important. Um, but I believe I'm of the belief that it starts at the mind level and then it trickles down into the body. I, I, I agree with that. I, I, um, I agree with that a hundred percent. I, I, and you know, I, our, our thoughts and our definitely feed either positive or negative within our body. And I, I definitely do um, subscribe to that, but I, um, the book, what I was going to say about, I'm excited about the book again, is that I really appreciated that it wasn't just a bunch of theories, but he also offered like a roadmap for people to kind of start their own self-discovery and start to, and like encouraging people to start exploring the emotional side of, um, of illness and that how it may be in- influencing your health or your pain or whatever you have going on. And, um, a lot of times books don't do that, right? Books are just like, here's our theory and here's um, here's all the people we healed, but like, I'm not going to give you the secret. Come in and see us. Um, this one definitely gave you some, some suggestions and some, um, and like clear, like some clear advice or su- clear suggestions on how to like help yourself and how to move forward. Um, so I really appreciated that about this book as well. And I don't know if it maybe had to do with the fact that it was written so long ago and it was before the whole like <laughs> infomercial style of um, 
of uh, sales, but um, I appreciated that. And I, I actually immediately started looking up um, like, uh, what is it? The uh, TMS, like TMS practitioners in my area, because I was like, oh, I'm going to totally go do this now because I'm so sold on this concept. And um, I, uh, I'm i going to look it up right now. Is that TMS is uh, tension myos myostis syndrome mm -hmm. um yeah so um oh here here's the definition right here it's a uh it's a pro processing that certain chronic pain conditions are caused by oxygen depri deprivation deprivation to muscles which is triggered by the brain in response to repressed emotions so um you know just the the simple explanations that he gives throughout the book really helps you understand um, the concept and be able to ip apply it to your life. Yeah, I one of my favorite examples that I think is so like, um, so relevant to today's world is, you know, you go to a Western doctor and you know, you, you exhibit symptoms in your upper back and your lower back. And then the Western doctor recommends surgery. You get the surgery, uh, you feel better for a couple months, and then the pain resurfaces either in the same location or a different location, and it's worse. And then you treat the other the the new symptoms according to western practices then you feel better for a couple couple of you know a month too and then it comes back even worse and so your body your mind is so intelligent and so smart it's like i'm going to keep showing up until you deal with your repressed emotions and until then you're going to be miserable <laughs> and you know yeah, you have the choice to do it without being under the knife, without being on um, really heavy pain medication, um, or you could just do it by um, following his recommendations and really digging deep into, into your psyche doing some exploration work with a person that's trained in these practices. Um, I follow also a similar method. So there's plenty of practitioners um, that are out there that could help you um, reduce your condition and even heal it. Um, and it all starts with you, right? Like, I know I say this in <laughs> most episodes, it's your choice. Everything is a choice and you have the power and control to either release it or hold on to it and deal with it in a way that doesn't really get to the root cause and doesn't really address um, what's really causing it. So. I agree. I, I have a similar story with Western medicine. I had my knee, like my right knee bothered me for like for years and years and years, like from the time I was 13 until and I fell skating. So I had a legit injury of, you know, um, to start off, but, um, you know, but my knee injury got me out of PE. My knee injury got me out of doing things that I didn't want to do. And so miraculously it didn't hurt when I was skating. It didn't hurt when I was going to the mall. It didn't hurt when I was doing, I was doing the things that I wanted to do, but fast forward to, I, you know, started taking Kung Fu lessons and I was ready to um, test up to my black belt and my knee was still bugging me. And I went to the doctor, the MD doctor. And um, he said to me that I, they could do, he would do surgery. And if there was something wrong, he would fix it. If not, they would just t patch me back up. And then um, I would have a, this long healing process because they had just ripped open my knee or cut open my knee. So I, um, I started seeking other forms of healing and I found acupuncture. Um, I know it's not the same, but um, hear me out. But I think 
looking back now, the acupuncture was my last hope in feeling better. And so um, whether the acupuncture fixed everything or not, but, or my mind did, needless to say, um, you know, I, I think it had to, I think it was mostly me like, like, this is going to work, this is going to work. And so now, um, you know, all these years later, like 20 years later, my knee is just fine. Um, and I, I think it's super interesting that their first Western medicine's first response was, well, let's cut you open. <laughs> and, um, I'm like, I don't want to do that. So I found, I sought, sought other um, ways to fix my situation. And, um, turns out it was, it was mentally my problem. And like, it, it wasn't until reading this book and like looking back at it is like, having a knee injury was getting me out of shit I didn't want to do. And so it was convenient. It was a convenient injury to not have to run a mile at PE or like play the games that I didn't want to play only the stuff I did want to play or whatever. So, um, it was just, it, it, it's a, it was a very, um, eye opening, like to like put the focus on like self-awareness and like what what is your part you play in these things that your body is holding on to and um it it was just super interesting and uh also you know you know I love choices and perspective and like putting the pr proper perspective on um on what's going on in your body and how how your mind is reacting to that and um you know like you said the choice to uh harp on it or move on like get rid of it so it, it it was, uh, I, I didn't really realize I loved this book so much until we started talking about it. <laughs> I know it, it just it sneaks <laughs> up on you. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, it really is. I, um, yeah, it was, it was really good. And, you know, even if you're a skeptic or a believer or if you like a Western medicine or a holistic healer, whatever your approach is, um, this book will definitely, no matter who you are, make you think and make you kind of shift your perspective in some ways, or um, like just just shift your perspective on like health in general and like how we how we look at things as a society in America or you know in Western civilizations and um, and also like the like in, in the role that our mind plays, what such a big role our mind plays in our well being and our healing and the manifestation of good health or the manifestation of, um, a happy life. So it was, uh, very interesting. So, so powerful. I love it. And I, I love that you brought up the secondary gain, right? Because a lot of, uh, people that even though they have this information, right. They know this material, they know the the application of it. Um, they hold on to whatever the disease is or the the imbalance is because it gives them attention, because like you said, it, it allows them to avoid doing certain things. And so it's also, again, it comes back to um, full circle, back to you no really like weighing if if it's worth it right like if it's worth holding on to it like, because if you don't if you choose not to let it go it's going to persist right so I agree and I, I guess that's true with like life in general or just like things that are stressing you out or whatever if just let it go let mm -hmm. it go like the weight off your shoulders just let it go I, I agree 100 percent Great book. Gotcha. This also uh, this also kicks off our series on healing, yeah? Yes, we have more in store for you guys. And uh, stay tuned for, for our next episode. There's more to come. Yes, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, please like and subscribe, rate us, um, comment. What are your thoughts? If you've read this book, what are your thoughts uh, on the book? If you haven't, what are your thoughts just in general on healing processes and, um, how we manifest things in our bodies and our minds and, um, keep us posted on, uh, whether or not this content is, uh, something you want to hear more of. Um, we are going to, like we had mentioned, we're kicking off a, a small series here on healing 
different types of healing, different ways of healing. And um, we're so excited to be bringing you these next uh, few episodes and uh, healing together. So until next week, have a great week and we'll uh, talk to you soon.